Welcome back to Technosage YouTube channel. With the launch of RTX 4070 yesterday, uh, we know like it is going to be on shelf today. So yeah, and it is going, it is retailing for 599 bucks. And overclocked variants will be the review embargo on them will be re revealed tomorrow. But the review embargo on the non-overclocked RTX 4070 has been lifted, and we now know everything about it. And the leaks were spot on with 5,888 CUDA cores and everything else. So yeah, it, they were literally spot on with everything 1.92 GHz based and 2.46 post and on a 15 game average 4070 it's on 3080 level in native performance without DLSS and pure rasterization which is bad to see because RTX 3080 is a 3, gen, 3 years old GPU and you are getting essentially that performance on RTX 4070 which is the current gen only a DLSS support which is a bad thing to see and I think Nvidia has gone pretty bad with their GPU lineups in this current generation like RTX 40 series. It's a bad way to see it in a way because they are just focusing on DLSS and not on rasterization performance. And speaking of rasterization, AMD has answered it and it, they said like for building an enthusiast PC, you need at least 11 to 16 GPU of VRAM as you can see. Resident Evil 4, Last of Us Part 1 and Hogwarts Legacy requires like 15 to 11.2 GB but last of us part one has its issue but it was literally not playable on RTX 3070 which has 8 GB of VRAM which is bad to see and RTX 4070 comes with 12 GB and RX 6800 the lower end RX 6800 comes with 12 GB 16 GB of VRAM which is insane to see like the lower end part also comes with 16 GB that's what they are saying but yeah it's nice but RTX 4070 clearly beats RX 6800 even though it has less RAM, but the performance, but the thing is, you need more VRAM to do more things in the future. So, if you have more VRAM, you're going to get more performance later down the line, and you don't need to upgrade it. But yeah, let it's just up to the end perform consumer. So, yeah, it is up to you to decide what to go. But speaking of AMD, we also have more news regarding Zen 5, and Zen 5 has allegedly appeared on Cinema Chart 23 and comes from most low estate. And it is a dual channel, two sockets, 128 cores. So it co-ops CD and it has a base of 2.8 gigahertz and a boost of 3.65 gigahertz. So yeah, it's an epic CPU, server CPU. And do note, it's core 123K, which is like 14%, 15% faster than Zen, Genoa Zen 4 epic CPU. And it clearly beats Intel Sapphire Rapids HDD processor, which is on liquid nitrogen. But yeah, do note, it's an engineering sample. I mean, yeah, it looks nice because 123k on an engineering sample in dual channel, it's nice to see. So maybe AMD will go more in, and maybe there are more CCDs, more cores later down the line. And yeah, it comes with uh, 10 megabytes of L3 cache, so L1 cache, so it's 80 KB per core. So it's nice to see also. So you will get more performance out of it. And do not like Intel should be worried about it because. Zen 5 is coming strong and we just get an idea about how Ryzen will perform with Zen 5 from this epic CPU. So yeah, AMD is planning to go all in because server is their market as of now. And speaking of servers, according to Moore's Law is dead, he also said something very nice regarding 8000 series uh, which is RD, which will be based on RDNA 4 and Navi 43 and 40 node. So, yeah, pretty nice and we know it's based on 3 nanometer and he said the added complexity of RDNA 4 is making N40 a real headache to work on right now but if we get this thing working then as they want it to be then it well good luck Nvidia so basically they if they find out how to make the infinity cache working between two different GCDs it will be an awesome thing and then Nvidia should be worried about it because right now the, in 7900 XD they have multiple MCDs MCM MCDs but not GCD it's a single graphics compute die but if you can if they can get multiple GCDs graphic compute dies in one GPU then you are essentially getting two G two GPUs in one and it will be awesome they just need to figure out how to make that infinity cache infinity connect infin infinity fabric pretty fast so that there's no latency in computation and stuff and they might figure it out and if they figure it out it's nice to see so yeah that's it from me today what do you think about the news Sound of your thoughts in the comment section below. Like, share, and subscribe. And I'll meet you in the next one. Peace out. Maybe we'll get AMD.
Ryzen RX video.